All right, folks, here we go. This is the month seven video for Project Icarus. Project Icarus. If you're new to the channel, Project Icarus is a collaboration I'm doing with Otis.Global. They gave me the domain and it is up to me to make something of it. If you want to know more about the backstory, the link to the playlist that has all the backstory videos is in the description below. So how are we doing? In the last video, we talked about the impact of the May Google update. As discussed at the time, I basically felt like Google had just taken the legs right out, basically just taken the legs out from under pretty much taking the legs right out from under this project. And while this project hasn't really, I would say, recovered like some of my colleagues, which by the way, I'm glad that my colleague sites are back and, and going on like normal. I'm still sort of stuck in this phase of having to believe that eventually this site will take off. So let's look at the stats. Right here, you're seeing this super complicated uh, Google spreadsheet that shows you the page views and the sessions and the earnings and the costs so far, as well as the total number of posts that I put up. As of today, as of the end of July, the site has 121 posts. And July was a fairly prolific month for a couple reasons. One, content provider Content Pit did a cold outreach to me and asked if I wanted to try out their service. Naturally, I said yes. And so some of those 53 articles did come from Content Pit. I also spent some time hanging out with Jasper.ai. and just writing my own lonesome self. You will also notice that this month I decided to make the jump and put the site on Ezoic. Ezoic doesn't have a minimum page view requirement, and I have actually heard that integrating with Ezoic and, and putting Ezoic on a site can help overcome indexing issues, which is what I think I've got going on right now. And I'll talk about that more in a bit. But you can see that the site has almost stumbled to its first dollar online, and I expect that at least in August, we will probably, I will, we, me and the site together, we'll get there. As far as graphs, let's check them out. What you're looking at here is the Google Analytics printout, screen share, screen capture from January 1 to the end of July. So this screenshot does not really show the impact of the update. And if you didn't know that the update had happened and you were just looking at this, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But this screen share, which is the inside of my Google search console, specifically the purple impressions line, gives me a better picture. Also, if you take a look over at my Soprabot account, you can also get a pretty decent idea of what is going on. Now here's the thing. I think indexing is a problem and Google disagrees with me because up until a few days ago, if you were to take the URL and put it into the inspection tool in Google Search Console, it would have come up green even though it wasn't showing up in SERP robot. Now I cannot say for sure if these are connected or a coincidence, but within a few days of integrating with Ezoic, URLs that Google had previously said were green and all good started popping up in the discovered but not index section in the coverage tab in Google Search Console. I mean, I, I suspected, right, that that's where they were. It was obvious to me, I think from the purple line, that indexing was a problem in combination with SERPRobot, right? So while the integration did not solve my problems, it did seem to inspire something, something that I can work on, something that I can build on. So at this point, do I have like really strong feelings about using a domain with Otis.Global or any other age domain? Right now, the answer is, I don't know yet. And here's the thing, the niche that I chose, it, it may have been a mistake. I decided to use this domain to enter into a niche that I would consider mm, very competitive. This is not a niche that I would have chosen to go into with a fresh domain, like no way. And I do know from my experience with the fight site that a very competitive niche can mean that it can take longer to get out of the sandbox, if you believe in such a thing, for articles to get indexed and to rank and eventually end up where they belong. Maybe there's more testing. I mean, I would love to see at the end of month seven, like fireworks, right? Like amazing. But at the same time, I'm still seeing signs that everything is still possible for this site. I think if we could just get enough content on there, that there was enough topical authority, that there was enough depth that Google would, you know, trust me. I think there's real potential for this site to pop, which is why instead of just sitting on this site and waiting for the indexing situation to just randomly one day get better, I am recommitting to trying to get this site to 500 articles by the end of December.
so far I've got 120 or so articles, which means I've still got a long way to go. I'm excited to come back next month and report that this site earned its first dollar. Heck, maybe it will have even earned 10. And maybe by then my SERP robot won't look so red.